Hi everyone, welcome back to IoT Projects Ideas. Today, in this video, we learn how to interface Estonia HMI doll display with Arduino for a smart home project. In our previous videos, we learned basics about the fundamentals of the Estonia HMI display and designed a visually appealing user-friendly interface using the Stone Designer software. Now, in this session, we will go deeper and learn how to establish a connection between the Estonia HMI DOS display and the Arduino microcontroller. After this video, you will be able to control relays and monitor DST Lavin and DST22 temperature and humidity sensor data on Estonia HMI DOS display. With this system, you can easily manage your smart devices and appliances for a seamless experience. With our controlling lights and fans are monitoring indoor climate conditions, this project is a fully functional smart home system. Get creative, explore new ideas, and turn your home into a smart home with the power of Estonia HMI display and Arduino integration. Estonia HMI displays are popular choices for smart home projects due to their reliability, easy to use, and cost effectiveness. These displays offer a high quality graphical interface, so it is perfect for visualizing data and controlling various devices in a smart home setup. With the Stone HMI display, you can design interactive user interfaces with buttons, labels, switches, and more. Before we start, here's a list of the components you will need for this project. Estonia HMI display. Choose a suitable size and resolution that fits your requirements. Arduino board. We will use this little Arduino Nano board in this example. DST Lavin or DSC 22 temperature and humidity sensor for monitoring indoor climate conditions. 8-channel relay module to control multiple appliances or devices. RS232 to TTL converter module for communication between the Estonia HMI display and Arduino. Connecting wires to interconnect all the components. Power supply to power the Estonia HMI display and the relay module. Interfacing Estonia HMI display, DS311 and relays with Arduino. Connect the Estonia HMI display to the Arduino Nano using the RS2322 TTL converter module. Ensure that the communication pins TX and RX are correctly connected between the display and the converter module. You can solder three jumpers to the backside of the RS232 to the TTL converter module for easy connection with the display. You can easily connect jumpers with this setup. Also, solder three header pins G and D, data input and data output on the Estonia HMI display as shown here. While interfacing RS232 to the TTL module with Arduino, you need to connect the TX pin to TX and RX pin to the RX pin of the Arduino. But for the output display, connect TX to RX and RX to TX pins respectively. Connect the DS211 sensor to the Arduino Nano. The data pin of the DS211 should be connected to a digital pin D2 on the Arduino. Connect the 8-channel relay module to the Arduino Nano digital pins D3, D4, D5, D6, D7, D8, D9, and D10 to control each relay channel. Power the Stone HMI display and the relay module using the USB to UART module with the 12V DC power supply. To assemble the components for testing, you can use a breadboard. However, for a more reliable and professional solution, I recommend using a custom PCV. I have already designed a custom PCV specifically for this project. 
download the Gaurav file for the custom PCV from the link provided in the video description. Once you have the Gaurav file, you can place an order for the PCV from pcvway.com. PCVWay offers affordable prices and provides high-quality PCV manufacturing services. They have exciting offers such as a new user sign-up bonus and various coupons that you can take advantage of for your order. Here's the process to place an order for the custom PCV. Click on Instant Quit Tag, click on Quick Order PCV, then upload the cover file of the PCV design to their website. Select the desired specification for your PCV, such as the number of layers, board thickness, and copper weight. Choose any additional options you require, such as surface finish and solder max color. Proceed to check out and make the payment using the available payment options. PCBWay will manufacture your custom PCV according to the provided design and specifications. Once the PCV is ready, it will be shipped to your specified address. Software Setup First, you need to design a user interface for your Stone HMI DOS display on the Stone Designer software. Create buttons, labels, and switches as per your smart home project requirements. Ensure that you assign appropriate features, names for the buttons, and switches to control the delay channels. We already covered how to design a custom UI for your display using Stone Designer software in our previous tutorial. So, we are going to use the same project UI for reading and monitoring data with the Arduino microcontroller. So, if you are new to Stone HMI display, then make sure you go through these getting started tutorials first. Now, download the UI file from Stone Designer software and upload it to the Stone HMI display using USB to UART module. For the Arduino part, you need to install the required libraries on your Arduino IDE. They are Arduino JSON and DST library. Visit the website link provided in the description to copy the code. Now, upload the Arduino code provided to your Arduino Nano board. This code will read temperature and humidity values from the DST11 sensor and control the delay channels based on UART commands received from the Stony HMI display. Now, let's see how this code works. This code allows you to control the 8 channel relay module based on the received UART commands. It also sends temperature and humidity data to the Stone HMI display for visualization and monitoring purposes. The HMI display will show real-time temperature and humidity values updated every second. The Stone HMI display will parse the JSON data received through EVRT and update the corresponding label widgets with the temperature and humidity values. Here is the step-by-step -step program code explanation. The required libraries are included Arduino JSON.h for working with JSON data and DST.h for interfacing with the DST11 temperature and humidity sensor. Pin assignments and sensor type are defined for the DS211 sensor and the 8 channel relay. The serial is initialized at the board rate of 115200. Relay pin as output is defined through the pin mode function. Then the DST sensor is initialized in the setup function. In the loop function, the code checks if there is data available on the serial communication UART. If data is available, it reads the data or 20 byte frame from the serial and stores it in the buffer array. It takes the first byte of the frame, buffer 0, to verify if it matches the expected value 0 cross 53 to ensure it's a valid frame. Depending on the specific values received at index 18 of the frame, buffer 18 
the code toggles the corresponding relay channels on or off accordingly. The temperature and humidity readings are then read from the DS211 sensor. The code creates a JSON document, JSON doc to format the temperature and humidity data to be sent to the Stone HMI display. The temperature and humidity values are converted to character arrays temp str and humid str with two decimal places using D2 strf. The JSON document is populated with the widget information temp and humi and the formatted temperature and humidity values. The JSON document is serialized and written to the serial port with the appropriate start ST and the end ET markers to indicate the beginning and end of the data frame. The code waits for one second using a delay of one second before updating the data again. You can adjust this delay as needed. With the hardware and software setup complete, let's explore how this smart home project works. The Arduino Nano reads temperature and humidity data from the DS211 sensor. It also listens for UART commands from the Stone HMI display through the RS232 to DTL converter module. The Stone HMI display displays the real time temperature and humidity values on the labels. When the user interacts with the buttons or switches on the HMI display, it sends corresponding UART commands to the Arduino. Based on the received commands, the Arduino toggles the relay channels on or off to control the connected devices. So that's how we made a simple smart home project by interfacing with Stone HMI Toll display with Arduino. I hope you learned a lot and the tutorial was helpful to you. If you have any doubts or queries then do let me know in the comment section below. We will be back with more exciting tutorials in upcoming days. Till then stay happy, stay cool. Bye bye.